Hi everyone, I hope you're really well. Welcome or indeed welcome back to the channel. If you are new, don't forget to hit subscribe because today we have got a latest in beauty unboxing. And this is probably going to be my last box for a little while. If you follow me on social media at all, particularly Facebook, I'm quite good with Facebook, not so good with Twitter. I do sometimes tweet though, but mostly on Facebook, I posted quite a few times in the last, ooh, I don't know, six weeks or so that I just wasn't really feeling it with Latest in Beauty anymore. And I was subscribed to the service. And if you're not aware, it's a subscription and non-subscription box service where you can get beauty items. It's slightly cheaper to do the subscription option, which is what I did. And you can choose three, six or nine products. And I always go for the nine product box because I think you get the best value. They also do one-off curated boxes as well. And I kind of feel like a lot of their focus is going going on those curated boxes. They're amazing, they are really good, and they've had some really tempting ones come out. But I much prefer the side of the company where you get this whole menu of products and you can choose which things you want. Yep, those three, six or nine products, if you choose to go for that option, you can actually choose from usually quite an extensive menu of products. And it got to the point where I was due to choose some products and I just wasn't really excited by what was showing up. And it got to the point where they were almost going to send me a mystery bundle because if you didn't know and you subscribe to the service, you've basically got until I think it's the day before your bill date to choose your items otherwise they're just gonna send you a random selection. So what I did, because I knew that I wasn't gonna be carrying on anymore, I canceled my subscription and then I had to email them a list of what products I wanted. So here we have it. This is my last latest in beauty box for probably a little while. I will still be doing unboxings throughout December because I do have my beauty advent calendar now, which will be a surprise. So you'll have to wait until December to find out which one I finally chose to go for because every year there are so many that are coming out. And I might well look in the new year to doing some kind of mystery unboxing of another beauty service. So if there's one you know of, that's really good. I do quite like the idea of unboxing a bit of a mystery instead of me taking control, which is what I have been doing with Latest and Beauty for quite a while now. I think someone told me that the nine product box is always pink, and the card I have got this month is I came, I saw, I contoured, which I know I've had that a few times now. And this feels so nice because I haven't done an unboxing in what feels like the longest time, and I have missed it so much, so I can't wait for December and actually doing a daily advent calendar unboxing. Okay, so first thing I've got here is actually a Rippy Packet sachet. I'm not sure if I knew that this was a Rippy Packet sachet when I chose this, but oh well. I'm not usually a big fan of choosing this type of thing from Latest in Beauty because quite often they do have full sizes of things. So I do try and avoid these if I can. But this is the Trepidora, is it? Babassu Quench Leave-In Curl Primer. And obviously, being someone with curly hair, that sounded like a good thing to try. And when I checked reviews, it sounded quite nice as well. So I won't open this now and let you know what it looks like or anything, because it's in a rippy packet. And let's face it, I will probably make a mess if I do that. Next, and my hand is just reaching for this massive item here. This is the Yes to Coconut Conditioner for dry hair. I don't think I've tried anything from this brand in terms of hair care. I have tried other things of theirs, like skincare, which I quite liked. But this is absolutely huge. I wasn't expecting it to be as big as this. This is 280 mil. And weirdly, I am actually using a different coconut conditioner at the moment. So, complete coincidence. That's the Cantu conditioner though, which I'm, I like the conditioner, don't like the shampoo so much. So this will be interesting to compare. I'm basically working my way through using the last bits of stuff before I go back to using new wash because I have placed an order, cannot wait to get new wash back in my hair again. But in terms of this conditioner, ooh, it's got that kind of coconutty smell that's a bit like 
coconut body lotion or sunscreen or something. It's not like hyper hyper thick or rich which given the name of the product I was kind of expecting a little bit. It's actually quite thin and I've got to be honest that's probably not my favourite coconut scent. I think scent wise the Cantu coconut conditioner is nicer than this. There's something ultra synthetic about this so yeah. Next up we've got this very cute little bundle here from Aurelia Probiotic Skincare and this is their Miracle Cleanser. If you watched my last vlog you'll know that I've just had a little goodie pack of a complete skincare regimen come through from Aurelia and it included this cleanser. When I saw that this was an option for Latest in Beauty I thought I do want to get it again, I just want to see what I think of it and compare it to perhaps Lizelle's Cleanse and Polish which I've been using quite a lot of recently. When I first tried this quite some time ago, also through Latest in Beauty, I didn't actually like it that much but I think it was just trying to get my head around the whole cream cleanser thing which was still quite new to me so I'm very happy to try this one out again and also use it as part of that whole Aurelia skincare regime that I've got as well and you also get one of their cleansing cloths which are beautiful if you're after a really gentle cleansing cloth then this is the one to get because it's super soft. I think it might be bamboo. It's absolutely beautiful. Next, I have this product here from Senspa. This is their Sleep Therapy Bath Soak and there's 50 mil in here. I had another Senspa product come through Latest in Beauty, I think a couple of boxes ago, maybe the last one. I'm really not sure. It's been a while since I opened that box. But as far as I can tell, this is a brand that you can pick up through Waitrose. And I liked the idea of the bath soak. It's got organic lavender and other essential oils, including bergamot, patchouli and geranium. And I just love those kind of scents. So... Let's see how it delivers in terms of those scents. Yeah, that's really nice. And I've made a bit of a mess of it all over the lid. Never mind. It's very heavy on the geranium scent. And I'm just about picking up some of the lavender and some of the other scents, but it's very runny for a bath soak, really runny, it's not very thick at all. So definitely looking forward to giving this one a go because those are all the kind of scents that I absolutely love. Next, I've got these two cute little bottles here from 417, I think that's the brand, and it's the Dead Sea Collection and it's the Vitamin Mineral Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are quite small, but they're also big enough to give you a good idea of whether something's gonna be any good or not. And I was just curious, to be honest, because I'd never Never heard of this brand before so I thought it would be worth giving them a go and just to read you a little bit of what it says on the back it says it's based on natural active ingredients such as dead sea minerals energizing vitamins a b c e and f as well as unique plant extracts like chamomile papaya vanilla and aloe vera that make the hair healthy shiny and glowing so it does sound quite nice Although this packaging is kind of making me think of if you were going to stay in a hotel or something. So it's not typically nice shampoo smelling. It doesn't really smell of a lot, to be honest. There is a bit of a fragrance there, but it's very subtle. It's actually quite nice. But even the look of this shampoo, it's got that kind of hotel shampoo look about it where it's slightly pearlescent. Do you know what I mean? If you've stayed in hotels, that just looks quite familiar. And then the conditioner is pretty much the same, very little scent to it. But it looks really quite thick and hopefully it will be nice and nourishing. Actually, do you know what? The smell of that is like hair removal cream, like Veet or Imac or whatever you're supposed to call it. That's what that smelt like initially, so hmm, just slightly concerned about that one now. Next up, I have got this bath oil from Olverum. There's 15 mil in here, and if you've been around the channel for a little while, you'll know that I've had this one before, because basically, 
I was trying to do my best to find products that I actually wanted for this last order. And I knew that I already liked this to the point that I have actually considered picking up the full size of this because this is a lovely bath oil. The smell, oh, it's just incredible. There's a mixture of 10 different essential oils in there and they reckon that this is enough for three baths. But to be honest with you, the last time I got this size from Latest in Beauty, it did more than three baths because you really don't actually need very much. It just smells divine. Very relaxing, but herbal really really like it so I think at some point in the future I will be picking up the full size of that one. Next up I have this cute little bottle here from Tropic and it's their Super Greens Nutrient Boost Serum and there's just five mil in here but look at that adorable packaging for the sake of the fact that it's five mil. They've definitely gone to some effort there. It's even got a proper pipette on it which for five mil is quite impressive. That usually means the full price of this is going to be a lot. So it's quite watery. Wonder what it smells like. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Okay, now I've rubbed it in a little bit, it's smelling a bit more green. The initial smell was kind of like weird baking or something, but it's gone down to more of a a very green scent, although there's definitely something weird in there. It reminds me of a Yankee candle that I can't put my finger on. One of the green Yankee candles that they do, maybe like pine or something? Even though it doesn't smell like pine. I don't know, that's an odd one. It feels really nice though, just rubbing it into the back of my hand there, that feels glorious. So. I am so looking forward to using this one and just based on a little tiny bit on the back of my hand I think that this is probably going to go a fairly long way so excited for that one. And the last thing I have got in this box here is this lip liner from SSL and it's their Soft Smooth Lip Liner. And I don't have any lip liners and when I googled it I thought that this looked quite nice. So that's what it looks like. It's kind of tapered either end and just in case you struggle like I did for a while there it's actually got a screw cap to it. I've brought a mirror with me just to give it a go. Oh it's a lot more pink than I was expecting. At least it is on my lips. God, that's a bit of a retro lip look for you there. It went on really easy. I'm just gonna kind of blend it a little bit if I can. The color's quite nice and I think this is a shade that I would actually wear. There's a swatch for you there. So it's quite a kind of dusky rose kind of color. But on my lips, it looks really quite pink. And that's everything in terms of the products that I chose. There were a couple of freebies in there. I've got two products here from Urban Vida. I've got the Turmeric and Botanics Radiance Day Cream, which I don't think I've tried before, and the Facial Wash as well. So I don't think I've tried anything from that range from Urban Vida. So that'll be nice to try. Quite often, Latest in Beauty do throw in a couple of samples, which is nice. And to go along with that lip liner, they've also given me a code for 20% off using the code LIB20 at the checkout. So if I do happen to like it, I can check out some of their other stuff and get 20% off. As per usual, I don't actually know what the value of these products are. I paid £18 for the box, but the value of the box is... And obviously I've not worked that out yet, so hopefully there's quite a decent saving there. But this was my last box anyway for a little while. So if you do have any recommendations of other beauty box services, let me know in the comments. I'll be really interested to find out what else is out there and above all, what your recommendations are. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up down below because it does really help support my channel. And if you are new and would like to subscribe to see more content like this from me in the future, I will pop a button just here so you can click it and get notified of new content as and when it gets uploaded. 
And if you've not seen my last video, I will pop a link to that one just up here so you can click it and check that one out too. Anyway, I hope you're all really well and I will see you again soon. Bye!